Good morning, students. Now, today I am going to explain chapter two, part two. Now, the lesson name is land, soil, water, natural vegetation, and the wildlife resources. Now, yesterday I explained part one. Now, today I am going to explain part two. Now, this land, soil, water, natural vegetation, and the wildlife is all our natural resources. And these natural resources that yesterday we had seen. land we had seen the land and the soil that is also one of the greatest natural resources and we must have to use it proper got it now today we are going to discuss about water water is a very water renewable resource now the water is very much important for us water is our daily needs without water we cannot survive that you do know and that first living things Born in water also. You have learned in third standard geography. Or third standard, third standard geography. The first living things born in water. Means water is our life. Search a water. How much water is available? How much water is available on the earth? That is of that is of seventy percent, seventy percent water and the thirty percent land. Among this seventy percent water. That seventy percent, seventy percent water and thirty percent land. Among these seventy percent water, three fourth percent, three fourth percent what is that? That is the ocean. That is the sea. Three fourth percent it is ocean and the sea. That's why our earth is called the water planet. Why our earth is called water planet? Because three fourth of the water is covered. The three fourth of Three fourth of the part of Earth is covered by water. That's why our Earth is called water planet. Now, see, three fourth covered by water, and this it is covered by water. The which water? That is the ocean water and the sea water. Ocean water and the sea water it is covered by. And two point seven percent, two point seven percent that is what? Two point seven percent fresh water. Means only one percent fresh water we get it. Consumption for the human consumption is water. Sea water is not useful. Then what we, which water useful for us? That is the fresh water. But this water, sea water, which is not a human useful for the human consumption, that water is essential for the aquatic animals and the aquatic plants also. But it, this fresh water, we see that 2.7, 2.7 percent the fresh water, and we get it. This fresh water, and which is the natural resources of fresh water, river, lake, and the underground water also that we use it. Now most of the water is most of on the earth. Most of the uh, part of the earth is covered by ice. That is in Antarctica, that polar region that is covered by ice. And this ice, there is a this which fresh water is there. But what is frozen? That water is frozen, and the glacier has been made. Such a water, the fresh water, we are so we are utilizing, we are using it there. Though water is a renewable resources, then also we are facing such a problem because only one percent of the fresh water we get it. Got it? Another is what uh, human. Uh, Human are using water for what purposes? Human are using water for the, their first of all drinking, then cooking, then bathing, and then natural use. That for the this what the natural use they are using it for the agriculture also they are using it. And because of this that of natural this fresh water there is just scarcity of water we can be see. So such a water such. the things that we are using it for our daily needs and which is very important for us it is that is the water and only 1% water is drinkable and another is what the sea water salt water which is not fit for drinking here the problems of this water point just i explain now another is problems of water availability that problems of availability in that means in our 
world, in the world, there are many countries that there, there is scarcity of water. That is entire Australia, then uh, some Asia, some part of the Asia continent also there, and some parts of the USA also, they are facing the scarcity of water. Why they are facing? Because of the more, more, the more usage, sometimes more exploitation will happen. That's why these people are using, well, these, pe these people are facing, so using of these people are facing, what the water problem? But another is what? Now, do you know my children? That is what one place is there. Saurashtra, one place is there. The name of that place is Amreli. And there the population is 1.25 lakh. 1.25 lakh population is there. And they are the people on this place. People on this place no water. They don't get the water. In that place, there is no water. And that's why these people are From nearby Taluka, these people are purchasing the water. They are in Saurashtra and name of that place is Amreli. Amreli is there is a place where population is 1.25 and there is no water and people purchase the water from the nearby Taluka. But now conservation of water resources. How to conserve water? It is very important for us. Now what do water just I told you go there is. So, water is a natural resource and it can be renewable just like that. But what, why do we conserve it? Because there is too much a problem. Then if we conserve it, then also sometimes the less rain we are getting it there. That, uh, that is the natural resources of water. Sometimes the less rain getting it there. And uh, if we not conserve water, then what will happen? Our future generation can be face problem. Nowadays we are facing the problem because our past generation, we can say that our past generation not, uh, our past generation not to, uh, to proper care, that's why we are facing it because of the global warming, because of not taking for proper care, we are facing the problem. We have not taken, we have not taken proper care of the rivers also, lakes also, glaciers also, but uh, in your test group, one picture is given of Narmada river. Now Narmada river, she, how polluted that river. And who had done this pollution? Only people had done the pollution. If we keep our such a natural resources proper, then we will not face the problem. For that, just I am going to give the simple example of a, the simple example. Recently what happened that before three, four months that the lockdown is going on, you know. And every, everyone is now at home only. People are at home. And that's why what happened, the rivers and lakes looking so pure there. Means there is no pollution. Means who has done the pollution? Who spread such a pollution? There are people there. So it is in our hand to keep such a natural resources very proper, take proper care, then only we can get more and more water there. And by the water cycle, the water cycle, by the water cycle we get the water there. So it for keep away earth from the global warming, we must have to take proper care of water and that is the conservation of water. Now natural vegetation and the wildlife. Now vegetation. First of all, I am going to explain what is meant by vegetation. And whenever this word comes, I always explain the meaning of that. Then also today I am going to explain what is meant by vegetation. Vegetation means all types of plants which are available on the earth. That is called the vegetation. Um, the, in the plants, the plant, then such a large trees also, scrubs also, everything everything comes where in the vegetation. So what is mean by the vegetation? Vegetation means all plants which are available on the earth that is called the vegetation. So we are going to start this another point that is natural vegetation and the wildlife. What is mean by the wildlife? The animals, those who are living in the forest. That is called the wildlife. Wildlife is the, the animals which we are which are living there in the forest that is called wildlife. But now natural vegetation, the vegetation which grow naturally or in the nature that is called the natural vegetation. Now see in your textbook such a small story is given that what the teachers and the children. 
went for to went to see the exhibition and there are many such uh, things was things were kept it. now which things were kept it? that was a uh, and then uh, that was some uh, baskets also there then cake basket and everything was kept it there now that one of the girls she took she, she, she took the bag and she said that wow it is so nice the teacher said it is made by it is made by cane or it is made by bamboo it is made by bamboo now see another girl whose name was jassi she had taken her purse and uh, that was made by the silk or oh, sorry she had taken one muffler and one scarf and it was made by now it was made by what the silk there it was made by silk and she said wow oh, so nice it is made by silk now the teacher said teacher explained that this scarf made by silk and the silk who produced the silk worm and where it is it is mostly on the mulberry trees and the farmers do the farming of silk worms and then we get the silk now the student came to understand see the vegetation plants wildlife are very much important for us now the forest which gives us timber timber is one type of wood and by this timber we get we can make the furniture the desk benches where you sit in the classroom it is made by the timber even the construction the construction work also that made by the timber timber and the most important is this forest or plants provide us oxygen oxygen is oxygen it is very important for breathing and that provide that uh, providing who provides this uh, this to us this provide plants to us now the timber oxygen and whatever the things we want we can get it from the uh, from the forest another is what this the vegetation and the wildlife vegetation it's always grow in biosphere last year we have learned such a four spheres that lithosphere hydrosphere and the atmosphere and the and the last one of the biosphere the biosphere in the biosphere mostly the animals and the plants live hydrosphere is related to the water lithosphere is related to the earth related to the land and then what hydrosphere related to the water and this animals and the plants live in which sphere that is the biosphere and this biosphere in the, the biosphere the animals and plants is interrelated with each other and interdependent on each other for their survival means it is say one proverb in sanskrit that is jeevo jeevasya jeevana means ek jaan dusre jaan ke upar adharit hai ye in the biosphere and that we can say the ecosystem also understood now this plants which provides us this timber and they give shelter to the animals give shelter to the birds give shelter to the humans these are very much important another is for growing crops for growing crops also these plants are very much important again what from this uh, from the uh, forest we get it latex latex means what it is say in uh, hindi gond jisse apun laddu banate hai that is the latex again the fruits uh, fruits also we can get it from that so these resources vegetation it is very much important and we must have to take proper care of that vegetation another is wildlife wildlife means all types of animal which you wear in the forest that is also very much important not only the animals some birds also are there now sometimes we think that what is the use of such and such animals but in the ecosystem which the nature have made which the nature has made all types of animals these all the animals are very much essential for that now whenever we see the lizard we think this lizard so it's looking so ugly and why the lizard made it there it is not a, a, a lizards always at home and we think that why the lizard nature has made the lizard there but that is also the lizards also very much important because the lizard always eat some insects which is very harmful to us even the vulture vulture is also is important because it's always eat the dead animals understood in the 
forest if any animals die then this the vulture eat that animal and keep the environment clean so this wildlife and the vegetation is very much important for us now another point is distribution of natural vegetation this distribution is not same in every place it is uneven distribution we can see it uneven distribution here the the forest which that natural vegetation is depend upon temperature and the moisture that you have learned in last year also you know the temperature and the moisture it is depend upon that and where of the earth which place that forest which place get such a temperature and moisture obviously there the natural vegetation can be grow got it now two types of forest are there last year also you know many times i am telling you that last year last year why because when last year i was explaining at that time i told you that these and these parts you have to study in next year there so now the time came that you have to learn again that what we say it is the revision of that part evergreen forest and the deciduous forest what is mean by the evergreen forest evergreen forest means what the forest getting throughout the year rain and the leaves and never go dry never go dry and everywhere the leaves never go dry and every every time the leaves green greener is there that is called the evergreen forest the forest which the forest the trees of the leaves and never go dry that is the evergreen forest and the deciduous forest only the when there is a season at the time the river the river the river uh, looks green and afterwards when the season at, at some seasons that goes dry when the summer season is there at that time this uh, the leaves of the trees the leaves of the trees dry and whenever there is a rainy season at that time the leaves of the trees looking green that is the deciduous forest we studied it last year means the this forest is divided into two parts that is evergreen forest and the another is what evergreen forest and the deciduous forest in the evergreen forest the leaves of the plants never go dry and in the deciduous forest in the season it grows dry there and another is this deciduous forest can be again divided into a tropical tropical forest and the temperate forest there understood now the grassland shrub also coming in what in that uh, deciduous forest another is conservation of conservation of natural vegetation this natural vegetation we must have to conserve now i have told about the water in the last part i told about the land about the soil now this uh, natural vegetation how to save it first of all the forest forest we must have to save because the forest the abundant wealth is there in the forest and we get it from the nature so it our duty to save the forest so we should not cut the trees we should not cut the trees that on the other hand i said that we must have to do the afforestation afforestation means we must have to plant more and more trees and we must uh, we, we, we must not have to cut the forest and we must not have to bring that land under the cultivation under the construction another is this the changes of sometimes what the changes of climate and the human interference changes of climates and the human interference this the this place going this place what the habit uh, this place is dangerous for the habitants and the animals that the changes of climate means so if the natural climate is come at that time also the animals and the, the vegetation means plants where they are in the nature they can be suffer because of the natural climate natural calamity and human interference means so that people should not be cut forest then only we can be conserve the forest sometimes that uh, natural calamities mean tsunami also come then landslides also the, that's that day i explain about the landslide and if the landslide come that also the vegetation and uh, vegetation it is uh, harmful to the vegetation and the wildlife century here the, now see some people are there they what they do they are killing the animals for what purpose 
for they wanted to do the illegal trade with the, for that animals illegal trade means i can say the smuggling and the, in other countries the elephants steal the skins of the animals and that is very much important that deer's skin also very much important that's why some people are there in the society they what they are killing such animals for their own purposes and that we can say the smuggler so by the law the government had made the law and by the law nobody can kill the animals there because it is our duty to to, to conserve the animal and for that government had made such a national parks national parks also made abhayarnya also that made and the sanctuary sanctuaries also made that's wildlife sanctuaries also made now abhayarnya and the national parks there the such a wild animals can move freely and no one can harm to them because all the animals all the plants are very much useful for keeping the balance of the earth proper even for awareness for awareness program for awareness of the people government nowadays taking too much initiative and it is very much important because we are facing the global warming warming problem and earth has a not in balance there that's why we are not getting rain and we are facing the problem there to avoid this one the government nowadays has taken steps which steps taken one among so they one among so the celebrating nowadays this what government not only that the world environment day this it is of 5th june we celebrated that is and that one among so day also for what purpose because people must be aware and people must understand the importance of the natural vegetation important of the wildlife sanctuaries that's why government is nowadays taking such a steps now again government encourage the schools or the children there they must the children the school children must have to go there in the national park and they must understand the important that's why these steps have been taken in there now many countries including india many countries including india also had made a law and which law made that if anybody hurt any animals there that person get punishment that law made in there and that is very much important otherwise the hunter will go in the forest and hunt the animal but by the law nobody can kill any animals nobody can cut any trees there if anybody had tried to do then they had to face the government government can do the punishment so we it is our duty to respect natural resources and conserve it very well because our life is depend on natural resources and though the natural resources are abundant but if we not use it frugally then what will happen my children our future generation can be face problem understood now you have to read the lesson very proper then i will do assignment thank you